What is Crack Guys Crasher here? And we're here on another adventure. But I do want to give a quick shout out for our start of the video. And here with Evil Baby in the background, you guys can see, we're going to go walk around. Today's a special day because food is being served today. And it's, it's going to be a, a big, crowded day. But we are in the middle of the entourage here. But I do want to give a big shout out to all my subs on Twitch and YouTube. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys very much for subbing to the channel. You guys are amazing. You guys are what make these trips possible. I truly appreciate it. And if you guys aren't a sub, you guys do want to support, you guys yeah, hit me up on, on YouTube right here in the bottom. You guys can see you guys can sub as well. You don't have to. Liking and watching the video does a lot for me, guys. But all my Twitch subs, thank you guys very much. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for making all this here possible. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. But here we go. We're going to go start our adventure because we got reservations to go to a restaurant. So here we go. Thank you guys very much. Let's go. Yes, Crash Jerry here, guys. I'm here, I'm with Evil Baby. We are here in downtown Disney in Buena Vista section because today, today's actually a really special day. Today is when like food is gonna be available in downtown Disney. We do have a reservation. This is our reservation today. So we are gonna be going to downtown Disney, eat some food, gonna enjoy, gonna show off like little areas here and there that you haven't seen. Some areas did open up. There are a lot of YouTubers here, a lot of people walking around with cameras. So um, I'm not sure we're gonna get people on camera, but there are a lot of people here. I'm just gonna say it's very crowded for a Saturday morning. As you as you walk into uh, Buena Vista, there's a lot of people here today. For being so early in the morning, there are lots of people. Kind of crazy. I guess everybody's waiting because today is actually a special day. So, but there's a lot of people. And they did expand that section right over there, which. We'll be walking to in just a second, but look at there for being so early, there's a lot of people. I don't have you baby here with me. See over here, all the, the tables are now open. So you can now come over here on this side and enjoy eating once again here. But the, this door isn't open yet. This is where they had like the carts last time. Last time they had food carts in here, but I think it's gonna be happening soon, but just not yet. But it's going to be pretty interesting to see when they do open up because last time they have the food cards inside there so you know soon of course Carte circle right now still has no food in here there's like they're not serving anything yet but i think um, pretty soon places in here on bona vista street are going to start serving stuff just not yet but you can see we're getting set up everything is here but it's gonna be interesting the day you start serving a lot of stuff here yeah, you're gonna see a lot of uh, more people here. So what are your thoughts of today? Good. Yeah? Who did you just meet right now? Stephen Kai. You know Stephen Kai? You like watching the YouTube videos? Yes. Yeah? Very cool? Yes. So you still have a lot of sections over here that uh, are still closed. Like I said, I'm pretty sure once they get more into this whole food and, and um, being available, that place right there is gonna open up. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start selling drinks. Uh, it's only a matter of time. And that little taco truck that's way over there. I'm pretty sure that is also gonna be um, open food, but don't quote me, I could be wrong. But of course you do have Studio 17 over here that does have stuff. I was here last time. I'm not really looking for anything special. So right now I'm just kind of walking around. But we do have a reservation at one at Uvo Bar. So that I'm waiting for. So, but I might pick up maybe a new hat. Look at this, this Saturday crowd it's coming in kumbaya i guess everybody here is excited to come in and check out and see what's going on and what's new and what's going on here because there are a lot of people here and so we still have the rope here and you guys can see small jumpers can't wait to go and try that once again of course going all the way down over there and then you have of course the, the the cafe over here that's closed and then of course the churro cart that's not open yet but i'm pretty sure give it some time a lot of these places are going to open and you guys can see the crowds are just coming in. Just everybody wants to come in and see um, 
what's going on with life or is it just with the place any changes because food is allowed in here so there's a lot of people here probably to see all the different and many changes that's going on all right so here is the side view of the jedi temple yeah as they say you guys can see a lot of stuff this used to be a rain um a forest restaurant i don't know if you guys ever eaten there before but it's actually uh it's gonna be interesting to see how they do this new jedi temple which comes all the way over here to this side we'll just walk over here and you guys can see the front entrance how it looks how it's gonna come you guys can see the little um upgrades they did to it of course you have the antennas here you have more antennas over here so it's gonna be interesting there's like a little sign posted out front right there and a little updates here and there of course they are really excited for fortune oh yes a little upgrade up there as well show more look like a, a base that's amazing that's right right it's and gonna look great when the expect, expectation date opening no idea but no idea. sooner than later sooner than later i know they're, they're before they're, summer they're pushing oh 100 so here we go so you get to see more upgrades here and uh it looks really amazing it looks really cool i'm really excited for this Really, if you guys are a Star Wars Jedi fan, this is going to be really awesome. Really, really looking forward to it. Now, I just talked to a cast member. Uh, he came out and he was showing me some of the details here on the building. And he did say that this place here will open before summer. So, uh, I, I, I get it summer. And he said before spring. So, so they're rushing it. They're, they're working really hard on it. And he said there's going to be some like little... Right now, they're using the, the, the bottom floor of the restaurant. Not the top floor, just the bottom floor right now. They're utilizing. So, which is cool, it's good to know. It's, it's gonna be a really big store. It's gonna be really um, amazing, all the stuff they're doing inside. And so they might add some stuff outside. He didn't want to say what it was. He just said some stuff might be added outside as well. So that's actually really cool. I always talk to the cast members because you just never know what kind of information you're gonna get. So one of the reasons coming here is because they are starting to sell food here at, on downtown Disney, which is really awesome. So a lot of the restaurants are opening up. So we're gonna come to our first one right now and it's gonna be uh, Earl's Sandwiches. They are now serving. So if you guys wanna come and eat, you guys can see people are already inside dining and eating at Earl's sandwiches. So yes, food places are starting to open, which is really awesome. I think it's going to uh, bring back the crowds. I think it's going to start getting crowded once again, because now there's certain food, everyone's going to come and eat. So it's going to be uh, these crowds here on the weekends are going to make this during the week. Here we go. So Jazz Kitchen isn't open yet. Uh, you, I would thought they would have been open, but not yet. I think, um, there are no Tortilla Joe's over there. They're open. You can see the line for Tortilla Joe's. People are already going in over there. But over here at um, the Jazz Kitchen, it's not open. But they do have a reopening sign. They're coming soon, so give them time. I'm pretty sure they'll probably be open like next week sometime. So Jazz Kitchen may be closed, but you can still buy your bananas. The bananas, you have to scan a little code right here to get your mobile service. But that is open. Even though that's closed, that right there is open. Which is the perfect snack, which you're probably going to be getting, right? You might. Maybe you might pass. Turtles Hello. or bananas? Bananas. Bananas. You can see Tortilla Joe's. They're open. And you can see a lot of people inside that. I don't want to get too close because people are eating. So, yeah, there's a lot of people there. So right now the, the food portion of Splitsville is not open yet. So you see, they're probably setting up. I'm, I'm pretty sure by next week, they'll probably be in full effect. Of course, Blacktop Crazy Shake uh, is, is, has been open since the lockdown, but also the Kraft Burger site. So you guys can see the line over there to get in, and these are the tables you eat outside. So they are actually open for food, which is, um, like I said, the food places are open, but you need to get reservations for this weekend because a lot of places they, they ask for reservations. Over here, Uva Bar, which we have a reservation at one o'clock. This place is open for food now. So that is amazing. And you guys know I've been here and they have like amazing margaritas. The margaritas here are truly, truly amazing. I really dig the margaritas. They are really good. You can see Dallas Point, the brewery kitchen is also open. There's a line here as well. People waiting to get inside, so which is always good. Of course, Retro Pretzels has always been open. This place is uh, was open during the whole food thing, but now you can eat the food here. Of course, the Cannon Shore over here is uh, still open, still has that line. They always have a line. Everybody always comes in. I don't buy my, my snacks 
until I'm ready to leave. When I'm ready to leave, that's when I'll go and buy my snack and juice. Naples is also open. So if you guys love the food here at Naples, Naples has good food. I'm not gonna argue. They are also open. And then of course, reservations are required for that, right? Is that what we should have been eating there? Yes. We should have been eating there. Yes. But no. JJ wants something different and then JJ canceled on us. But yeah, Naples is not open. One place that's not open yet, Starbucks. Starbucks is still closed. Um, I'm giving it by another week before they open up again. But look at the line for World of Disney. I think I might go inside here for now because we still have time to waste and kill. So the line is, enters over here. So here we go. So this is something that I had not seen that they had last time I came. They got the Disney Numas. I'm probably butchering it. But they have like different designs. You can even dress them up in different clothing, which I didn't even know about. I didn't know you could put them in different clothes. But they have all different types of characters. Look at that. They got the Stitches, they got the Mini, the Mickeys. You can even put backpacks on them. Kumbaya, yeah, there's more clothes down here. She's deciding whether or not she wants one. Or she yeah. wants a shoulder I'll buddy. I'll pass. I'll pass. I want a shoulder buddy. This is actually really cool. I love the Lipicents. I love the figures. Ooh. I think I might have to get that. Even these ones here are pretty cool. I didn't really care for the Little Mermaid, but Hercules one looks nice. So La Brea Bakery is also not open. So that's kind of interesting. So like a few places that are not open yet, but I'm pretty sure it will open up because before the whole lockdown, this place was open. So I'm pretty sure give it another week or two and this is going to be open and get the little outside dining right over there. So even Sprinkles is not open yet. Uh, they might come back. For now, the location is still closed. So there's one, one thing that um, hasn't opened up yet, but like I said, maybe in a couple weeks, Sprinkles will probably open up again. There you go, so we did order some chips and dip. Now someone says the guacamole is better at uh, Tortilla Joe's, but we're at the Uva Bar and we're gonna try these. How is it? The tortillas and do something. Do something? The how's, do the something. how's the guacamole? Delicious. Delicious? Delicious. Oh yeah? That's good. Oh, that looks good. Definitely gonna try some of this stuff here. Mmm. Not good. Liming, the salting, perfection. And every time I come, I gotta try the margarita, frozen margarita here are amazing, they're delicious. Mm. How I miss the, oh my God, it's been so long. Excellent. So here we go, my food arrived. I just got the Uva burger. It came with the garlic fries, the ketchup, the nachos were actually with nachos. The guacamole and chips were actually really good. You baby got her stuff with cheeseburger. What do you think? French I think she's like fruit. making some French fry sticks. It's French fruit. French fruit? <laughs> so there we go. This is, looks really good. Look at the burger. I did a review on this before, so if you guys want to see that, you guys can check out Curbside Dining. You guys can see the food review that I did. I'll, the link's always down below. You guys can check it out, but look at that. Being able to eat, once again, in downtown Disney, a nice burger from Google Bar here. Mm. That is good. I know it's a lot of people out there, it doesn't really matter. I know this seems relevant, but being able to eat in downtown Disney once again, it's, it's actually really cool. You get to sit here, just chill, just relax. People watch, see people going by, eating delicious food once again. I can't wait to go and try Shakira Joe's, go back to Naples, try Jazz Kitchen, try a lot of different places. That I haven't had yet. And then I'm waiting, can't wait for the places in Buena Vista, Award Wieners, uh, Sky Jumpers. Um, Hurricanes open up again and, and eat and try a lot of the amazing foods that they had as well. But this year is good. I'm glad that food is back here in Disney. I'm really, really, this is like, it's awesome. I mean, the whole downtown, Disney's got that feel back to it. It's live. There's a lot of people everywhere. There's some really nice people everywhere. The cast members are amazing and awesome. I can only uh, imagine what's going to happen when that Disney Jedi Temple opens up because that's going to be incredible. So they do have some frozen treats. Look at that, you got the, the ice cream here, so you got the frozen, you got the banana, you got the fruit bars. Oh gosh. We're going to finish up the video and some Mickey ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream time. We got the ice cream sandwich. Yeah. yeah. I got something better. What you got? This is way better. 
Why is that way better? Because it has more ice cream than you do. Oh yeah? How is it? Delicious. Delicious? You don't think it'll bite you at? It's too hard, that's why. <laughs> there we go. Scrumptious as best. Mm. And that's what I call an ice cream.